All right, so Travis, uh, so on the uh, Sup Racer website, Chris Parker's told us that we should be taking confidence in your lack, lack of confidence leading oh. up to a race. So what happened, mate? <laughs> I um, Yeah, I, like I said to you um, before, the, before the race, I actually didn't give myself a real shot at this thing, at this race, only because I didn't feel like I did the training necessary. I um, I only got three weeks of sort of skill surfing. I mean, I'm always fit, but, you know, just I just was so busy. We bought a house in Hawaii with working, with, you know, that work-life play balance. So I, um, I basically did three weeks of skill surfing out in Hawaii on the new board, and luckily for me, the race actually was all surfing. It was just a surf fest out there. It was, you know, still paddling, but it was just, rest after rest after glide after glide it was so i actually trained specifically for the right thing and and you know on the day i just had one of those days it was it was fantastic fantastic run i mean we were only out there for four hours nine minutes and just kind of was 408 so that's crazy fast and that's you now that's a good that's an old good oc1 time you know that, that's going to be hard to beat i feel like you'll have to have a, everything line up better than that and do you think that uh, you know the fact that yourself and Connor were so close together? Do you think that pushed the pushed the time forwards as well as the condition? I mean, do you think Connor would have went as fast without you? No, Connor. Connor did say that he said, "Oh, I would never have gone that hard." Um, funny, <laughs> I sort of I feel like you know he's got a couple more gears than I do, or we just we paddle very differently. So I only had sort of one gear, and I was going that pace the whole way. I felt. Um, so I feel like, you know, I went as hard as I could, you know, as safe as I could because I was worried about crashing at the end. Uh, again, I didn't know. I, think, I thought I was expecting five hours, not four hours. So, yeah, he said he got pushed harder than he wanted to towards the end and, you know, he got the record, he got the win. He he seems to be able to go to a whole new level of hurt than most of us. But I was sort of stuck in my in my pace, which, I mean, don't get me wrong, was a very fast pace and very comfortable, but... In those bumps and, you know, it's hard. I went harder and I would actually go worse. So I had to go back to my steady pace, which is kind of what I train at, you know what I mean? And it was very efficient, very good, but I just couldn't catch him in the end. I just had I had no more gears. I was sort of in my high-end gear and I was just hoping he would make a mistake and he didn't. And, and how about yourself? Do you felt there's anything you could have done differently, you think, at the end? Any key moments? That you, you know, I always try and race pretty smart. Um, you know, I, I sat sort of right behind him the whole time. I just had the same game plan, which I knew would be the case. Um, and I'm just being a surfing fest at one point. At one point, we were just crisscrossing the whole way across and we were sort of going really, really fast. And um, I think we both had a few, we, we both fell in a couple of times too, which is interesting. <laughs> um, no, but for, I nearly, you know, I ran a perfect race. Uh, the only thing that slowed me down was. Um, I had to get, you know, water drops. Uh, I drink a lot of water. I'm thirsty. And at the end, and there's four miles to go, I, my car pack was... I had to make the decision on whether I'd make the four, last four miles without any water or we'd get another one. Obviously, we're sprinting at that point. Uh, I, I'm a thirsty racer. I was like, you know what? I need the water. I need... The last four miles is the hardest four miles. The last 10 miles is the hardest, but we're up to about four to go. So I made the decision to get a new water pack. Um, it takes about how long... He got a huge gap on me, and then I could never wheel him in. But you know, if I went back, I'd, I probably would still do the same decision because, you know, I would without the water, he probably would have beat me as well. So, you know, that's sort of the only error on my part I made. I've got to make quicker water changes, or so I think. You know, the kind con is just really, 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 really good. So, to tell you the truth, I'm very happy with second. I'm stoked, in fact. Okay, yeah, Trav. So with this year's result, I mean, if there was any doubters of last year's. This last year's result, you've obviously silenced them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, so I had a, I had a, a couple of people come up to me and said last year, um, oh wow, you know, you got lucky last year. You know, they went the wrong way or long race or it's flat. And I'm like, you don't, you don't get lucky paddling for five hours, sort of thing. So yeah, no, well, mate, you, you killed it as we, as we said before. I mean, you um. You know, you, you, you didn't seem superbly confident leading up to it, but as we've kind of come to expect from you, the, the, the more unconfident you are, the more excited I get, you know, so uh, that's great. <laughs>